Okay, question number five from S1, June 2017, the GCE paper. Uh, Yuto works in the quality control department of a large company. The time, T minutes, it takes Yuto to analyze a sample is normally distributed with a mean of 18 minutes and a standard deviation of 5 minutes. Okay, so the time taken for you to, to analyze a sample is normally distributed with a mean of 18 and a variance of 5 squared, standard deviation of 5. Okay, now find the probability that Yuto takes longer than 20 minutes to analyze the next sample. Okay, so it's normally distributed, so the, the bell curve will have a shape like a bell curve. The distribution will be symmetrical. It won't be skewed. It looks something like this. I'll draw it that well, but no problem. So the mean is 18. So the mean is 18. Okay. Now remember the mean, the mode, and the median is the same when you're dealing with um, normal distribution. They're all symmetrical. Okay, it's all symmetrical. So that's your 18. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, find the probability that Yuta takes longer than 20 minutes to analyze a sample. So, you're going to go to 20 minutes, which is going to be more than 18. Okay, so, you want to find the probability that Yuta takes more than 20 minutes. So, you're looking for this area here, once these values are standardized. Okay, now, the standardized value of 18 is 0, because it's the mean. Um, and the standardized value of 20 is found by using this formula z equals x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation okay so the z value we're looking for is x which is 20 minus the mean 18 over the standard deviation which is 5 that gives us 2 fifths which is 0 0.4 so the standardized value of this 20 is 0 0.4 okay and the standardized value is what we need is because the table that we're given in the formula book okay is only for the bell curve with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one and this converts everything into a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one you're finding basically how many standard deviations above the mean is the value we're looking for and this is 0 0.4 standard deviations above the mean so we need to find the probability which is this area here okay um that uh, basically we need to find the area here in that curve in the curve which has this as its standard deviation this as the z value Okay, so what we go, what we do is we go to the the curve. But the problem is, the area that we need, okay, the area given in the standard deviation, um, in in sorry, in the tables, is always to the left of the z value, not to the right of it. When we're dealing with the table, where we have z in the first column. So basically, we need to find the area which is to the uh, left of this. Okay, so the probability that z is greater than zero point four is basically 1 minus the probability that z is less than 0 0.4. The table will give us, if we look at 0 0.4, it will give us the probability of z being less than 0 0.4. We want the probability of it being more than 0 0.4. Now, if the whole probability is 1, which it isn't in this case, then it's going to be 1 minus that probability. So we've got to find the probability that z is less than 0 0.4 by looking at the table. So we go to 0 0.4 for the z value, which is going to be down here somewhere. There we have it, 0 0.4. It's right here, 0 0.6554 is the area. Now that's the area to the left of it. Oops, let me just copy that and put it over here in case we forget it. Okay, so that's our area, which is to the left of 0 0.4, so we want 1 minus that. So 1 minus 0 0.6554, and that will give us what we need. So let's see what that gives us using our trusted calculator. So we have 1 minus, 1 minus 0 0.6554, which gives us 0 0.3446, 0. 0.3446 and that gives us to 3SF 0 0.345. It's best to write the answer in the end to 3, 3SF 3, 0 
four, five. That's the probability that uh, UTO will take more than 20 minutes to analyze a sample. Okay, now part B. The company has a large store of samples analyzed by UTO with the time taken for each analys analysis recorded. Serena is investigating the samples that took UTO longer than 15 minutes to analyze. She selects at random one of the samples that UTO took longer than 15 minutes to analyze. Find the probability that the sample took UTO more than 20 minutes to analyze. Okay, so basically what she's done is she only considered the samples that took more than 15 minutes. That's like your sample space. Okay, let me just make that a bit better. Okay, so there we have our... I'll try my best. Okay, not perfect, but it's okay. So basically, she's only considering... So remember that the mean is 18. She's only considering the things that took more than 15 minutes, which is from there. So she's only considering the ones that took more than 15 minutes. So the sample space that she's looking at is only this area here. Just this space here, nothing else. She's ignoring all the stuff that came before. So this part, she's ignoring. Okay. So you want to find the probability that uh, it took her more than 20 minutes to analyze, which is over here. Okay, 20 minutes. Whoops. So you want to find the probability that it took more than 20 minutes. So you want to find this, but out of, not the whole thing, out of the area greater than 20. So basically what they're asking to find is the probability that the time took more than 20 minutes divided by the probability that the time took more than 15 minutes. That's what they're asking you to find here. Okay, now the probability that the time took more than 20 minutes, we already know that's the answer to part A. Okay, so what we have to find is the probability that the time took more than 15 minutes. So we've got to find the Z value of this. Okay, so the Z value for this is going to be 15 minus 18, the value minus the mean over the standard deviation. That's going to give us a negative value. That's going to give us minus 0 0.6. Now, if we try to look up zero, negative 0 0.6, we won't find it. Okay, we won't find it minus 0 0.6. Okay, but what we will find is 0 0.6 and the area to the right of minus 0 0.6 is going to be the same as the area to the left of 0 0.6. Okay, so the probability that the Z is greater than negative 0 0.6 is which what we're trying to find. It will be exactly the same as the probability that Z is less than 0 0.6 because it's symmetrical. It'll be exactly the same area, that area to the left of 0 0.6 will be all the way back here. The area to the right of minus 0 0.6 will be all the, all the area up here. They're exactly the same area. So if we go to 0 0.6 in our table for Z, which is up here, 0 0.6, okay, we're going to get 0 0.7257. Okay, so let's copy that. Okay, so if we get the numbers paste that here okay so we have for the z value of 0 0.6 what's to the left of it is the same as 0 0.7257 which is the same as what's to the right of oh, minus 0 0.6 so what we need is um, 0 0.7257 7, 7. okay so there we have um, the probability that Z took more than 15. So what we got to do, and, and the answer we need is going to be the answer of part A, which is the probability that time is more than 20, which is 0 0.3446 in its more exact form. So you have 0 0.3446 divided by the probability that it took more than 15 minutes, which is 0 0.7257, okay? If we just left it as 0 0.3446, that's just the probability that it took more than 20 minutes okay um, out of the whole time but what we're looking at is only the ones that took more than 15 minutes we want to find what is the probability that out of those it took more than 20 minutes so you you're reducing the sample space to something smaller so you're not you're, your sample space isn't the whole thing which would be one it's 0 0.7257 which is only the area which is greater than 15. so that will give you the answer required in this question. So you have 
0.3446, which was the previous answer, divided by 0.7257, which gives us 0 0.47485. 0 0.47485 and that will give us to 3SF 0 0.475 0 0.475 and there we have our answer to part B okay and part C I'll do in the next video